for coming to this talk. My name is Jinook, and in this video, I will present the paper Genre Controllable Story Generation via Supervised Contrastive Learning. Controllable text generation typically has control code and text prompt as input and asks the model to generate the text conditioned on given inputs. There was a body of recent studies that researched this field. The idea behind the controllable text generation is to steer the language model's generation towards a particular attribute. In automatic story generation, there is a need of controlling the generation process with a specific attribute. In this work, we propose a model which can control genre in story generation inspired by the research of controllable text generation. Here is a use case. If the, if the editor inputs the same text prompt with different genre information to a specific model, the model should generate the following story which is coherent with the text prompt while it should defer the contents by its genre code. So uh, why do we need to control genre? Because genre references allow the reader to think about what the story would be. And we can easily defer each genre by its unique features. Let us say you find a novel whose genre is murder mystery. Then you can expect a dead body and a scene where someone discovers it. Like this, people anticipate having such conventions and obligatory scenes when they know the genre. Therefore, we choose genre as a control factor of our story generation. Now, I want to talk about the motivation for our methodology. Previous controllable text generation studies can be divided into two main categories. First, providing additional information to the model. Second, learning additional discriminators to control a language model. Neither method has learned to control with explicit training objectives. This may make the model mainly dependent on their text prompt, not on their desired target genre. We have examples below. As the model learns language from large corpora, even though we ask the model to generate text with target code, like for example here, like sports, they are likely to continue the sequence by conditioning the given text prompt. Like here, you can easily expect the like continuing sequence would be like about economic topic, not on target sports topic. To solve this limitation, we propose our model called SCSC. SCSC has auxiliary training objectives that explicitly force the language model to learn controllability. This additional objective is supervised contrastive loss, which penalize the model to stretch the distance between the different labels and narrow the distance between same labels. Many studies have employed contrast learning in NLP, and Gonel et al. proposed fine-tuning method with supervised contrastive loss in NLU tasks. We regard our work as the first work employing supervised contrastive learning in controllable text generation. In trading phase, we assume there are a story and a corresponding negative story as an input. We retrieved negative stories using similarity search, selecting top K stories with the highest similarity but different genre annotations. Our model is based on transformer decoder architecture. The model takes input and outputs the H vector, which is a component of loss calculation. For contrast learning, it is essential to provide appropriate positive examples and negative examples. We use dropout augmentation by Gao error to make positive example. 
We also treat samples with the same label in a batch as positive. Similarly, we use samples with different label in a batch as negative. We also use the hard negative example mentioned in the previous slide. There are two lotes that SCSC uses. First, we use typical negative log likelihood loss to learn autoregressive property. We transform the H vector to G vector by projection layer for supervised contrastive loss. These two losses are interpolated through the hyperparameter lambda. This table is the overall result of the automatic evaluation metric. To evaluate controllability, we first ensure that our classifier is unbiased. As the golden story obtained the highest fidelity and the known constrained GPT-2 fine-tuned model got 0.25 in four genres, we believe our classifier performs well. In the context of this unbiased classifier, SCSC outperforms the other baselines in terms of fidelity by around 0.4. Furthermore, our ablation result also showed that supervised contrastive loss has great importance for successful learning. From the human emulation result, we found that the generated stories from SCSC are more related to the target genre than those from other baselines. We also find that SCSC's generated outputs are more story-related and loyal to genre. This is the generated result from four models. The target genre is romance, and the segmented underlined here is the text prompt. As you can see, the text prompt is not related to the target genre. While other baseline results are highly dependent on text prompt, only SCSC show the result that matches the target genre. During the experiment, we found a trade-off between labor fidelity, which means control strength, and perplexity, which means fluency. Therefore, we must choose the hyperparameter lambda to keep the fluency as high as possible while maximizing the control strength. To find such a lambda, we visualize the sentence representation of each lambda. We could find stronger clusters as lambda increases. We set lambda to 0.7 in our whole experiment according to this result. We have done visualization to evaluate whether SCSC has control. We first obtained the sentence embeddings for the development set. In normal SCSC, after training, we could see clear clusters in same genre, the same color. However, the cluster disappeared when we removed the supervised contrast loss from SCSC while training. In addition, in figure C, when we replace the genre code with random noise, when we input data to the well-trained SCSC model, the cluster disappears, meaning that SCSC controls the genre through the genre code. To conclude, we propose SCSC, which is able to control the genre in story generation. Experiment have shown that our model outperforms the baselines, and supervised objective is the key component of our work. Future work may include applying our method to the dataset representing more natural narratives and fictional structures like writing prompts and ROC stories. Thanks for listening. We are welcome to check out our papers to find out more details. Okay, uh, thanks. And I see Jinho is here. So, um... I think we can start the QA session. So um, that's one question from my side. So have you evaluated the correlation between the, the, the used class categories or the genre 
with respect and uh, also the performance of the model. Mm, could you could you please uh, say the question again? So have you evaluated the correlation between the gen the use to gener and the performance of the model? So for example, for Romans, does your per um, model performance better on that than on other categories or other genres or less not less the average performance? Uh, you mean like uh, performance of like let's say like romance uh -huh. or a, like performance of uh, like let's say like a criminal or, or something like uh -huh. that so do they have different performance on different categories different classes Category. or different yeah uh, well i cannot i cannot say like there was like a clear difference between uh each tech each general text mm -hmm. but uh, i would say there would be like a little uh kind of uh let's i would say like kind of preference like between genres so nice. like let's say like if the if the data set that i uh, have made like if the, if they if the word terms in the data set is like a more uh like a biased to like some mm -hmm. certain genre then i think it would perform uh, well on that genre okay so yeah i would like to see some further analysis uh, in the future, so this could be interesting from my side. Okay, yes. thanks for the post.